Come on. Good. Don't ride at me. Sit. No. And not wanting to take on the I think that's game, set, and match, guys, unless we hold that. That's two top tens in a row coming into the players. Scott Stallings did win at 12 under par. Matt Fitzpatrick eventually got to 11 under par. So we'll, we'll finish in a tie for third with our fellow Irish compatriot, Shane Lowry, and the Aussie, Adam Scott. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another EA Sports PGA Tour career mode video. Today, we are going to be taking on the Players' Championship, and it's oh so exciting. Our first four round full tournament is going to be live in this video now i'm not sure whether i'll do one round one full round two full rounds we'll see how time has taken us so we're going to jump in and start this thing off right now though so let's jump into the store and have a look if there's anything new here i did just buy project x steel shafts and i can't even use them so i don't know why the hell i bother with that there wasn't anything really that that caught my fancy right off the rip so i think we're just going to stick with the equipment that we have but i am going to upgrade my golfer a little bit because we have seven skill points so i think we'll put some into what do we do short game what do we get here we get a, oh gold spinner off this one and why does that only cost one why do why does the short game one cost so little compared to compared to other ones high flop silver texas wedge gold i don't think we get the gold texas wedge though because i don't think we have the the silver one yet but we'll up, we'll upgrade that i mean it only costs one point so why the hell not right what about short game accuracy up here runner gold runner Short game accuracy, sure. I mean, short game accuracy is is always going to be handy. Now, I think I'm going to go approach game next because we we were struggling with approach game a little bit. I could go putting as well. That costs seven though. So let's see approach recovery, approach control, approach accuracy, gold or silver knockdown, silver finesse. Yeah, let's go with that. So I'm going to go with that skill point there, and then on top of that, whoa, gold power approach, gold knockdown, gold finesse. That one doesn't even cost that much, to be honest. So let's do putting. Let's put our putting up a little bit. And now we have spent all of our points and we're ready to go. We're ready to go to the players in the best form of our life here. We made a run at Arnold Palmer Invitational. We nearly got our first win. We couldn't get it done, but now we're ready to win. We are ready to win. We've been consistently inside the top 20 in every tournament so far this season. Now we need a mega players championship. We're jumping in. We're playing with Cameron Champ in the first round. Aaron Wise is the leader at level par. I'm assuming we're probably one of the first guys out. Tournament conditions, six to nine mile an hour wins. This is going to be tough, but it's going to be fun. TPC Sawgrass is one of my favorite courses. Absolutely love it. And I know it like the back of my hand. I've played this course so many times in every golf video game that, you know, I'm just, I'm ready for it. I'm it ready for it, baby. Unofficial fifth major. It is the home of the PGA Tour. It is 18 of the most diabolical holes ever strung together. It is visually intimidating. It is narrow fairways. It is water at every turn. But for the player who outlasts all others, it is the richest prize in golf. It is the Players Championship. Sick. That's a dope little intro. <laughs> that was awesome. Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Here we go, baby. For over four decades, this has been the home of the PGA Tour and the site of its flagship event as we bring you opening round coverage of the players. Yeah, pretty much no one's this out yet. It's going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. All We've right. Got a tie at the top. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to close the deal this week after a strong top five finish a week ago. A beautiful Thursday here on the first coast of Florida. Anticipation in the air for the first real big championship of the year. It is the players and Let's our go. featured golfer coming off a very strong showing last weekend at the Arnold Palmer Invitational down at Bay Hill. This is going to be a real test of where you stack up in this rookie season, don't you think, Frank? I certainly do, Rich. I mean, the who's. I who love that they here. have little throwbacks the in the commentary with stuff like that. So many it's awesome. Over the years, the fact that there's trouble often on both sides of the fairway. These greens, they can be as quick as anything, and of course, then you have to finish. And everybody knows how famous this finish here is at TPC Sawgrass. So, Frank, another week here on the PGA Tour, and we take a look at our featured golfer today. The young rookie still in search of that first win, but I'll tell you what, 
That had to be a great confidence boost last week. Didn't get the victory, but to be that young and in the hunt on Sunday, a lot of folks think a breakthrough might be imminent. It's on the way. It's on the way. The breakthrough is on the way, man. Now, I didn't think about having this guy on, actually. If you play this good and you get a few chances to win and you don't complete the job, mine actually starts to get in the way. What a shot. What a shot. Cameron Champ, it's a beauty. I was what I was actually meant to ask you guys, like, uh, do you think for the full shot. round, should I still have a Inside playing partner for every round, or should I do it only so for the Sunday round? Chance, really outside chance, I don't know. Really. Like, do I want still to have I do like the playing partners, but is that a little much if we're doing four full rounds to have a playing partner every uh every round? What do you guys think? I kinda like it, but I, I can understand why people wouldn't wouldn't want that. Alright, I'll try to hit a little finesse, I guess. It's up to you guys. I'm completely open to it. A little underswingy, but with the wind, that might be okay. Yeah, that's good. All right, good chance for birdie on one. This putt for birdie. And All right, Cameron. Particularly demanding putt here. Do what you got? Slightly down an incline, but it is dead straight. Nailed it, Cameron Champ. Uh, the pace. Probably the longest player on tour, I would say, in this game at least. He's got to be up there. He's absolute bomber. When I play with him, he has a, like a 320-yard power drive. Carry that is. Which is insane in the membrane. All right, this is a decent amount of break on this. Oh, I hit it through the break a little bit with no, that overswing. No, damn right. it. All right, and poor miss on one. Par on one ain't going to kill you. It's not going to kill you at all. Lots of golf left to be played. Par five coming up to a reachable one. I love to at uh, Sawgrass, actually. It's such a fun hole. It's a tough one, though. Like, if you don't get it right... It's very tough, but Thursday, definitely you can you give yourself an equal chance if you play the hole correctly. Course in pristine condition. Frank, we hear so much about this golf course being one that Iron. accuracy over distance. Is that fair to say? It is. Uh, often we use the phrase, it favors... The hell, Cameron? <laughs> He's playing a three-shot, that's, that's for sure. part of the golf course. There's no serial-typical type winner here at TPC Sawgrass. Uh, it really is a good blend of, of just finding <laughs> position on some holes... Then the longer hitters, well, they can take advantage. The new 12th hole, for example, the drivable par four. Um, there's some tweaks in the golf course, but still they Draw. expose everybody Draw. long and Draw. short. And that's the beauty and in beauty. some respect, the pain. A little bit further course. right than I would have liked, but it's fine. Should be able to fade it around those trees Just there. You I can see why Cameron Champ opted for a layup now because it seems like it's uh, it's pretty tough into that wind. It's going to be interesting seeing how he dissects the course. It probably will be like a one round thing, though. We'll be doing like... All right then, Cameron. <laughs> the fuck? He took, he took iron off the tee and then driver off the deck. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, I think a full three would could actually work here with a little high fade. Genuinely, kid. Genuinely. A little slow. That could work, though. Good looking shot, man. Really good looking shot. Sit! All right. Okay. It's always going to be tough to stop there, but that's all right. It's a tough Ooh, shot from there now. Not much green to work with. Too long, sadly. Cameron jump. Cameron jump. It's a good looking shot, Cameron. That's a good looking shot, baby. I'm excited for this week, though, boys. The players. Four videos on the players. Should we do like we could do like um, rounds one and two. We could do separate, and then round three and four do as like one longer video together in the in the same round. But yeah, let me know what you think, what your thoughts are on like having a playing partner for the full rounds. I, I really want to know what people think about that. Because I do like having the playing partners on, but I can understand if people wouldn't want to see that in every single video, even when they're full rounds and stuff. Let's try to go for a full little flop shot here. Mm. It's, it's honestly not bad from where we were. It was a really difficult location. Wasn't much green to work with. We were kind of coming back onto the pin that is really near the back not any green to work with and it was coming back off the down slope as well so it was tough Cameron champ for birdie oh he's not gonna have back-to-back -back birdies to start it's gonna be a par for Cameron here on two this for birdie yes all right yeah playing without the pump meter now is gonna make this more difficult it's gonna make it more interesting but one under there we go I'm thinking as well soon, guys, about turning Zoom off. I don't know what you guys uh, think about that one. You can let me know in the comments as well. Uh, I love seeing your guys' feedback in the comments. It really does help for me to decide things. But basically, the turning the Zoom off would make it so that I have to use the book a lot more. All right. We can walk out of here with a birdie, but it's not easy. So, like, I wouldn't be able to Zoom here. I would have to do this. 
So I'd have to decipher the distances by like 164 front. It does tell me the distance to the pin still, but I would be able to have to find my aiming points without without actually seeing. So something like this, right? I have to play it just off the left of the green there and see if that comes on in. I don't know. If you're interested in that, let me know. It's more a little bit more simulation like I guess. A little bit more strategic. Good looking shot though. That shot tracer I actually really like on the tee shots. A little long on that one, but that's not a terrible result, honestly. I'll take that. Those Nike pants are kind of nasty. Cameron, the ones that say Nike on them. They're sick. I like them. Cameron Champ going left here. Big left. That's in the bunker, son. Ooh. Uh-oh. Cameron misses the green. All right. Cameron Champ. See if he can get up and down from the bunker. Yeah, even... I don't know if you can, like, choose exactly the rounds. I think there are, there's options, like... AI on for only the final round. I, I don't know. Maybe I could turn it on for only the weekend on full rounds. I think that would be interesting. But I like having them generally all the time, but yeah, I, I can understand, as I said, from a viewer's perspective, perspective not enjoying it as much. Cameron Champ out of the bunker. Poor one. He has to chip this in now for a par, or else I'll probably be solo leader here, potentially. That's not even close. It's not even close. He's struggling for bogey now. Cameron's short game is really bad, though. Like, I mean, when I was playing with him, his short game's ass. Didn't hit it. You clown ya. You clown ya. I've left myself a tester for par as well. The chips are difficult. They really are. I need to get to grips with them a little more. I feel like if I, I need to do one or the other. I need to underswing it like crazy or bring the marker back like crazy. I, I don't do both because I've left quite a few of those short now. Good putt for a bogey, Cameron. Well done, son. We have this to stay, uh, stay ahead of Cameron. Yeah, good putt. All right, solid. One under with Novak Djokovic. Playing long, huh? A little slow. It's going left. Is it going to be okay? That's going to be up the left-hand side. No, that's going to be in the rough. All right. Shouldn't be too bad from there, though. Cameron Champ taking the driver. Bang! Bingo bongo, that's a beauty right there. Right down there. Cameron Champ. It's a little bit of a soft fade driver. Right down, smack down, smack bang down the middle. The ducks are looking out for me. Alright, I'm gonna play this a little bit safe because it does slope from right to left anyway. Play a little bit of a draw so we start it off a little bit further away from the water, and this should be a okay. A little slow. Alright, we need the we need the kick. Don't spin. Spin left. Okay. Solid shot. Solid shot, baby. We'll take it. 18 foot, That's 5 inches shot. to the hole. Cameroni with the big draw. That's going to be short. Mm. Not great from him. As I said, Cameron, Cameron well, Camp. Not super close, the stats for uh, driving, really good, green. but everything else. Middle of the road. Putt coming up, and we like, I was bombing at a 350, 400 yards with him, but I was really struggling to do anything else. And we're going back up the slope. He was driving it so far that it didn't even matter at so times. You have to prioritize that line. Prioritize that line, Cameron. Cameron, good putt. Not quite going to have enough juice, but tap in par for Cameron. And I take the same, honestly. This is going to be a difficult putt, but... You never know. Could have a chance. I actually underswung that. Just a little, uh, a little bit short. Good effort, though. This bogey boys top, I like it a lot, actually. Bogey boys. Okay, that one finished off. All right, one on two, four. Solid start to the to the tournament. All right, Cameron Champ got to tap it in for uh, for his par. Okay. Tap ins for part have been better since the update. I don't know if they changed something with it, but definitely 100% they've been better since the update. I haven't seen like a, a silly little missed one or one that's aiming way out right or left. All right, no one's going under par yet. We are the only person under par along with Novak. I'm just gonna take a driver down the uh, down the right hand side. Let the wind take it in from uh, from right to left. A little slow. That should be fine. I don't think that's quite gonna go far enough left to be. No, no chance. All right, good shot. That'll work. That's a okay, baby. A okay. All right, Cameron, are you gonna hit a minus ten percent underswing drive? Minus eight. Down left side. Pretty similar to mine. That one. Not quite. 
Not quite as far. Well, you can't walk yeah, that, that's the walk only thing now that the AI that needs to fix a little bit. I feel like the driver, right off the driver, they always do like minus 10%, minus 8%, minus 7%. They never really hit full drivers off the tee, which this I find a bit strange. A right in the fairway and 180 yards to go. Bang. Bingo bongo, he's left himself 180 yards. That's his distance, that's why. That's why he laid it up a little bit. Great shot, Cameron. Great shot, Cameroon. Oh, Tough shot, because downhill, we're on a downhill live ball slightly above our feet with the wind into us. A little slow, but it should be okay. Yeah, good shot. We'll take that. Good shot. 12 well, foot for shot. Birdie. Not quite as close as Cameron. All right, take it back a little bit. Not going to break much at all, to be honest. Pussy, dude. You pussy. You underswung the shit out of that. Indy, come on down now. All right. Nine foot for birdie. I underswung a couple of them now. I kind of, I still am getting used to the pace of these, um, of these greens yeah. without the pup meter. Like, I need to just find that balance of hitting it perfect on the, on the backswing. You know, wait for the, for just before the vibration. I'm kind of going a little too early. That one finished off. Okay. It is a Again, five. solid start. One out of two five is solid right stuff here at Sawgrass. It really is. The crowds are massive here at, at uh, I was about to say at Augusta, at, at Sawgrass. Love to see it. I wonder if the crowds get fuller as uh, as the days go on. Like you see, there's not that many down the sides here now. I wonder if it's right, like right, on Sunday there'll be the more people. Here. 186. Boop. Looks like it's off to the right a little bit, but should be fine. Uh, it's gonna be in the rough. It's fine there though. It's fine there. As long as it goes doesn't go no, further in, we'll still have a shot here. Right? I think. Definitely don't want to punch. Pitch no. Runner approach. I think the approach shot is the. Is the play with the... I'll try with a 50, 54 degree wedge. High fade. Trying to underswing this just a, ta a touch. Not that much. That's 6.6%. .6%. I wanted about 2% or something. Damn it. Alright. I should have probably just gone with a finesse shot. A full finesse shot. Wasn't a great idea to try and underswing Frank, a shot there? by, by that much. Fly, I probably could have hit it full, honestly. All the way down on the rough. You got enough loft on it. And actually, it's a pretty good swing. The ball was never going to stop. I mean, that's the opposite of what happened, though. <laughs> the ball did stop and came back down off the green. Good shot from Cham. All right, we're going to have to get up and down from here. I think a pitch shot no, might be the best bad. play for good us down shot. here. I don't Inside think we're in chip range. Feet, yeah, pitch shot is the one. We just need to land shot. a little short really and, outside and run it on there. Land it around there. Put a bit of height on this bad boy. Let's uh, put it close. Yeah, good shot. Good enough for a par. Another one. Another par, eh? Cameron Jem for another one. Another birdie. Can he? Can he? Oh! oh Camerone. Camerone. That lady's that recording him like it's uh, like there's no tomorrow right there. The Alright, two pars for me and Cameron. Both stay one under. Cameron wanted the solo lead there, but he's not going to get it. Four pars to start to follow up our birdie on two, rather. Like I said, solid stuff still. I'll take it. We're setting ourselves up for the uh, okay. for the rest of the week nicely. But there you go, son. Look at that. There's a canal all the way down the left side that'll get your attention. That's down the bunker. That's exactly the one he was talking about. Okay, he's not a little bit further left, honestly. That could have been a could have been water with a bad bounce. Wind's with us here, so that's handy. Gonna play a little bit of a little bit of a draw. Play with the wind. Perfect shot. That's coming back nicely. Maybe not enough. Oh, it's perfect. Is it? No. Stop, 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 stop. It's fine. A little finesse there, wedge from there will do the trick. The ball, but, uh, still, not too bad. Cameron Champ from out of the bunker here. I can't wait for the back nine. Back nine at Sawgrass is some of my favorite stretches of holes, honestly. Uh, I love it. Favorite stretch as a hole? Uh, does. Not Good shot from the bunker there, Cameron. Today, oh, he loves it. He bloody loves that. Second shot now for fairway. Right, I think I need to finesse here. A little finesse, 54 degree. A little bit of height. You get back a little. Play for a bit of that win. Nothing too much because the ball is below our feet as well. A little underswing, fast. Should cancel each other out, hopefully. Stay there. Okay. Eh, it's not the best, but... Giving ourselves a good chance for a birdie. We're just not giving air. ourselves like closer, great still, looks for birdie. We're putting ourselves in decent positions and um, overall playing solid stuff, but just not giving ourselves those 
those 10, 8 to 10 footers that give you really good looks at birdie. We're more like in the 20 foot range at the moment. Oh, no. Story of my life in this game at the moment. Uh, just throughout in. the career, it seems like. That's what stopped me from away. from getting a win so Look far, I feel like. At birdie. Yeah, this is when he's got to get just right. It's a tough putt. Moving seven, back it's a, to it's his big right. below us. Let's see how far back we have to bring it. That's a good, good attempt. A little overswingy. Yeah, that's not bad. He fast. Was a little, it was more of the fast that affected it, I would say, than the overswing, because the overswing wasn't really too extreme. Um, okay. Another par. Another one. one finished off. Another one. Par five straight seven. pars. But if we can birdie the par fives and par everything else, it will just be a solid round of golf, honestly, you know? Cameron Champ cleaning up for his par. And he does so nicely. Well done, Cameron. Finish around the side, the back, and the front. Didn't sound like a good strike. Didn't look like a good strike, and it isn't even close to a good strike. That was a shocker for, from Cameron Champ there. Grass. Right. What do I do here? What's the best way to play the shot? I think center green, center cut is is a good play here. I think honestly a four iron, running it in, playing it, aiming at the pin, and just letting it go from from right to left here, and and running it in there is a good play. Let's see. Uh, might still be too far, honestly. Oh my god. All right, that's a stinker. Too much club. All right. Cameron Champ's going to be first up. Little chip for him. Not great. All right. We want to make sure we don't give up our first bow gear. Come on. All right. Little pick shot. Should be the play. I was tempted at a blast here. Just try and get it down on the ground ASAP. But okay. It's not great, is it? Okay. That should be inside of 10. All right. Me and Cameron both struggling for pars here. He's 15 foot away. I'm 10 foot away. It would be a huge time to make a putt. We've just been two putting every hole. It would be nice to make one. All right. Bogey for Cameron. He goes back to level par. And we have to hold this to avoid going back to level par. Yeah, it's such a tough one, man. Directly below. It's three degrees below here, right at... Yes, the catch is a piece. Oh my god, I thought that was staying up, man. I thought that was missing on the low side. Jesus, the catch is a piece. Are we about to see are we about to see it happen? I said this wasn't happening. Oh my god, it doesn't happen. Okay. <laughs> what a par save. We have the par five coming up. We could finish the front nine two under. We'll be really solid. And there you go. Someone actually finally does get to two under. We're no longer co-leader. Jonathan Bird gets... I think that's his name, right? Jonathan Bird? By the way, I did uh, report David Lingmarth having an American flag to the team, and I think that's fixed now. If, if, if it's not fixed, it's being tracked and should be fixed soon. Bang. Beautiful drive. Beautiful little draw there. Baby draw. Now, we might have left ourselves a difficult second shot as the only thing I should have been playing to the further to the right. But obviously, you got to be worried about the water, too. So, safe shot, but we might not be able to go out the green here. Unless we're playing a big giga fade, honestly. Or a giga draw, rather. All right, guys. We're halfway there. We're at the halfway point nearly after this hole, anyway. Cameron Champ does the exact same thing as me. Plays a big draw. Unfortunately, that one is going to be further back. traveling though just a bit further left honestly more than anything especially with the trees in the way unless he plays yeah he's laying up smart play cameron smart play cameron champ has been laying up on the power fives that just doesn't seem right it does not seem right michael now do i go for this is there any benefit to me going for this big high draw or do I just go for that little gap here? I'm tempted to go for the high fade. That little gap there. You see that little gap? I think, I, I think we go above that. Let's try it. Fuck it. YOLO. Look at that. That gap right there. Perfect. Go through. Oh! <laughs> Good shot. We left ourselves short-sighted, though. That's going to be a really difficult bunker shot. All right, Cameron. Boom. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot, Cameron. Now, see, this is where slightly wider stance I make it difficult because really might have to spin. try underswing this a little bit. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I know it's beautiful. It's a good shot. 
Four foot four inches for par. Oh boy. It was a and he couldn't ask for a magnificent shot. shot. I was just I, I started with the M. I didn't know where I was going. Right magnificent. That's where we're going. Good putt, Cameron. Good putt, Cameron. Big birdie for him. He finishes the front nine. One under par. We have this putt to finish the front nine. Two under par. And it'll be a real solid front nine to get into a co-lead here. Bang. Let's go. Good up and down. Brilliant birdie. All right. We birdied the two par fives, parred everything else, and uh, solid stuff for the front nine. Solid stuff for me and Cameron, honestly. Tied with Jonathan Bird for the lead. No one going super low in round one of the players here, it seems like. For anyone asking, by the way, I have 85 AI. I know a lot of people are asking about that. I have 85 AI. And I think it, it works well for me so far in the quick rounds. We'll see if it works in the full rounds. Maybe we'll need to turn it up or down for the full rounds. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see what happens. Little under swing. A little fast. That's going to be left, isn't it? Well, this is left all the way. Jesus, big miss. That didn't seem like it was that bad, honestly. It's in the rough. It's... A little bit awkward there, probably. Well, We're the on the upslope as well. Okay. Rock. By the way, I did want to give a quick shout out to everyone who's buying the Rogue Energy. A lot of people bought the new Tiger's Blood flavor, I think, with the with my code. So very much appreciate that. Anyone who bought it over the last few days, um, been I'd say nine or ten orders using my code the, just the last two days alone. And a couple people bought merch as well, which Ooh, I really appreciate. That swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Buy the merch. Thank you. All right, it helps support this channel, go you know. Second shot. I can't appreciate, can't thank you guys enough. Cameron Champ with a gorgeous looking golf shot. Spin? No, it didn't spin. I thought that was going to be real nice for Cameron Champ. All right, now. Near to the flag, but still. On I think this one should work. Maybe uh, I try a high fade because I feel like the wind is going to take this. Otherwise, we got perfect. Oh yeah, that's all over it, man. Oh, it's same as camera. It's a little long. Okay, so yeah, wind did take it a little bit more than I anticipated. 36 foot for a birdie. Not quite as close as what we'd all right, two putt par. We'll take it. We'll take it on 10. Would be or maybe a 38 foot birdie putt. How about that? More than likely just trying to get this one close. I think it just breaks slightly more from, from right to left. Right there. Oh! Mm, yeah, it was pretty straight, really honestly. That putt was pretty straight just overall. A Had a really, more. really good... Um, Good distance on that. Cameron Champ for a long one for birdie. He's made a few long ones already. Is he going to make another one? No, that's low side. Okay. Two pars oh, on 10. Boy, that's a good stroke. Cannot complain about that's two pars on 10. Can he complain at all? Bang, bang. So that's in for par. Par so five coming up. Like I said, par every hole that's not a par five and birdie the par fives. And that's a solid four under round. You know, that's, that's a good start here at, at the players. But... It's easier said than done because a few of these holes are going to be... It's going to be tough to go bogey-free, that's for sure. Cameron Champ has two bogeys. We have zero, though. Bogey-free so far. Solid stuff. And we reach into the wind probably just about. And go for a little underswing. Or overswing. A little overswing. Mm, tough to the right a little bit, though. But, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Good stuff. Thank you. Just stop going up there. Stop going up and looking out the window. You don't need to look out all the time. Nothing's going on right now, okay? Nothing's going on right now. This you just lie down and have right a little rest. Side. How about that, girl, huh? Yeah, you've got to know the right times to dial it back a bit. Leave all right, Cameron Champ's going to be up first for sure. Just make sure 290, is he? he's not going to be able to go over that into the wind. Thank you, girl. He's been pretty much laying up on every par 5 anyway, so he might as well stick with the tactic of laying up on every par 5. I don't really even know how it's been going for him so far. I haven't really paid attention to what he's been doing on the par fives. Why does it look like Indy's talking right now when I have my face here? Indy's just like giving it, giving it holly. Can we go for this? Yes is the answer, I think. As high as you can hit it into the wind, I'm actually thinking I don't need the power approach. I think the normal three would. Full height. A little bit of a draw coming off the water. This is the one. I'm actually thinking this could nearly be long. But that looks so good. Oh my god, what a shot. Stop. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Stop there. Yes, come on. Oh my god, I thought that was going off. Big shot right there. We're giving ourselves a good eagle chance there. I thought that was still going to go in the bunker, man. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Cameroonie. Was that a little, little punch shot? No, it was just a bad shot is what it was. Okay, Cameron Champ's gonna go up first because we're just on the fringe there. We'll still be putting for a, for an eagle. 
And there's no time to jam for birdie. Concentration here, perhaps a little. Are we going to become the solo leader here? I think even with the birdie, we'll become the solo leader. So I'd say there's no chance that we don't become the solo leader right now. We got to give a little extra because we're coming out of the fringe here. 4.8 degrees above, really? That far above. All right, didn't quite turn that much. That threw me you off, though, the 4.8. I was aiming a little target. less left, but... Tap in birdie, though. Won't say no to those. As I said, we're birdieing every par 5, par and everything else. You bet. A solid Three, tactic right now. 11. And we have a drivable par 4 coming up next, so... Maybe we can, uh... We can even throw a birdie on a par 4 or two in there, you know? Why not? Why the hell not? So then... All right, solo leader, baby. Solo leader here at the players. Wins with us. It's definitely a blind second shot. So ideally, hit it down that right. I don't even need that. I don't need the power drive. Give me a max height little draw here. I should have a little fade, I think. I'm there to be better. Watch the shots. Oh, going too far right. You know what? It's fine there. It's fine there. We a good round going here on this Thursday. That's a okay. Another fine effort off. Not the team. worst place to miss it. Is Cameron gonna go for it? Come on, Cameron. Don't be a bitch. You gotta go for it, bro. He's deciding. He's taking his time. Come on, Cameron. Oh, he's launching it. Oh, he's going for it, baby. Go on. No, shocker. All right. We're either side of it. To That's the silly camera angle still. Go at this. His second now at the 12. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Cameron Champ puts it to 10 foot. We need to do something similar there. I think the little spinner here will uh will work nicely actually. Gold spinner, baby. Put it close with that. We got the gold spinner for the first time here. Let's test it out. Oh, it's tremendous. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Back-to-back -back birdies for the first time. And to extend our lead at the top here. This is an 11-foot putt. Obviously, we're in the early group. Not a lot of people have teed off yet, but more and more starting to tee off, so it's, it's going to be interesting if we're going to be leading this thing at the end of the day. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? That looked like it was Are you right. kidding me is right. Cameron Champ gets disgustingly robbed. A straightforward look here for birdie. Bang, bang. Back to back birdies. Round him up. Knock him dead. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And this is where Ricky Fowler started his amazing run to win the Players' Championship back in 2015. It's crazy to think it's that long ago. Crazy to think that. That's eight years ago. A little low six iron here, I think. The little low draw six iron. So even when the flag's on the left... You don't have to go directly at it because that normally causes the problem with the uh, wooden bulkheads down the left side and obviously the water left of that. Good shot. So something Good on the shot. A little bit past it. Down towards the left. But that's but fine there. Seen the odd that's A-OK. -okay. Boom. He's gone super safe. Cameron's playing like a bitch, honestly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to say that. But Cameron's playing like a bitch today. Laying up on all the par fives. Bloody... Going 72 foot right of the pin on on 13 here. Come on, Cameron, get your balls. Get your balls in order, sir. It's all right, Cameron. Imagine he holds it from 72 foot though. Can't can't call him a bitch then, really, huh? He gave it a go. He gave it a go. I think a little Texas wedge here is the play. That is a super putt. Texas Wedge definitely breaks a decent amount, so let's see what we got. Good putt. Yes, got the speed. Bang, there fucking the bang. Three and shot lead at the players. Unbelievable stuff this is. Come on, round them up. Knock them dead. Let's go. We're too damn good right now. We're too damn good. Cameron Chan tops it in. Or par. Jonathan Bird gets to within two again, so three shot lead didn't uh, didn't really exist. Here, if you're going to get out of here with a par, good shot. Might be a little bit sneaky, right? No, perfect. Good shot. This is a tough hole. Next five are honestly tough. It's a tough finishing uh, finishing stretch here. I didn't take my jumper off because it's tough. shot right there. All right, Cameron, what you got for us? He's hitting a little layup with a hybrid or a three wood, I think. Yeah, three wood. His three wood probably nearly goes as far as my driver, honestly, but. 272 yard carry with a sweet one. I don't know why you'd ever hit. Whoa, the lighting just. 
you gotta think why do I look like a tomato all of a sudden? There we go. Reward. That's fixed a little bit. As he nope. sets for Is a it? second into the wind. Okay, good looking shot though with a second. That's a gorgeous swing. Wow. Good shot, Cameron. Alright, little finesse six iron into the wind. A little bit long. Mm. I did hit it fast, 2.7%, to be fair. Might be a tough chip from there. Do I want the spinner? Or do I want the chip? I think spinner could work, but we need to be careful because. Let's see. Alright, I got this. The under swinger. Beauty. Just actually a little bit short. Six foot tester down the hill there now. I didn't think it was possible to leave that one short. I didn't think that was possible. We've left ourselves a tester for the par, the but that's okay. Up a ridge. Cameroon, a champ. Mm. That one. 10 inches. 10 down. inches. Oh, this is a little tester, huh? Now a seven footer. All right, these are the ones you need to make if you want to win the Players' Championship, though. Didn't hit it. Short. Fuck. First bogey. First bogey, man. That's a nightmare. Oh, nightmare fuel oh, right there. First bogey of the tournament. And he'll remain at six under par. Out of nothing, too, man. Safely in. Set up just fine. All right, guys. Last four holes at Sawgrass. Pretty infamous, so let's give it the send off it deserves here this round. They don't let me push it forward sometimes, which is weird. I have some, like, lag where it, like, doesn't let me push it forward if I'm underswinging by too much or something, I think. All right. A little underswingy, but it's okay. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance. Good follow it's perfect, actually. Good start to this hole. He's from the fairway. Coming off with bogey on the previous hole. Gotta and he's going gap right gap. at it here. Gap wedge coming long. in with just a bit too much heat. Going to end up just beyond the flag. You knew that right away that the gap boy is coming in with too much heat. All right, pitch and wedge finesse here is going to be perfect. No, I'm doing nothing else to it. Hitting it straight up. Watch this golf shot. That's a little long as well, is it? Mm. Actually, further away than Cameron's. Yikes, man. I thought it was going to be perfect, but the wind affected that a little bit more than I thought, I guess. It's for birdie. That was way too underswing. Pussy putt. I, I didn't even actually bring the analog back to see how far it would come back. It's an okay yeah, putt, though. It's a tap-in par. That, but it won't go Dang, down. man. It's and to get to two under and three back. What? Wait, what are we? Are we four under or five under? I think we're four under now. It's a bogey. Get to two back, actually. Cameron. Cameron. Ooh. Oh, what a putt right there. Cam it's Cham doesn't quite get himself into contention just, just yet. Fraction off liner. That would have gone in. Lovely. Okay, a little perfect follow-through there as well, 15th. eh? And he'll Three holes left. This is going to make or break our round, guys. If we could finish 5-6 under, that would be awesome. If we go anywhere backwards from here, it would be a bitter disappointment, honestly. I mean, no matter what, honestly, we've been finished. Okay, Even if we part the last three, I think that's a successful day. Jonathan Bird is actually taking the lead now. He's 5 under through 11. So we are no longer the leader. Feels bad, man. It would for sure be nice to get it back with a birdie here. Cameron Champ continues his day of laying up on these par fives. He's just laying up on every single one, and that doesn't even look like a good three wood either. Clips the tree, actually. I've done that a few times on this old. I don't even blame you for that one, Cameron. I've gone left into these trees on, on numerous occasions when I'm trying to hit a big draw around the trees. I'll, I'll always try and do that. Big draw and end up bottling it. But I'm going to go for it again because, you know, YOLO. Maybe I just look like a tomato right now. A little slow. Oh, God. It's going to hit that tree as well, is it? This one starting up that left side. Oh, I went over it somehow. Oh, I thought that was clipping it for right, sure. So Great shot now. 223 to the hole, and we can go right at this thing, baby. Another. Cameron Champ is not going to be able to... Well, 246? He probably could if he wanted to, but we know that he's not. That's not his game plan today. That's in the water. Oh, it is his game plan. Oh, is it ever? Oh, Cameron, you're unlucky there. I got to say, that's actually... F that's That's got to be infuriating. I think if that was if that carried another foot, he's right down by the pin there. Maybe even went through though, because it would have hit the downslope with some venom. I think. I think this is going to be so good. I mean that. So smooth, so clean, so good. What a golf shot! It's long. But if it comes back down this hill, no, it's staying up there. Unfortunately, I think. Damn, that's going to be a tough putt now. Damn it! I thought that was going to be better, honestly. I thought that was going to be better. I'd say we're probably further away than Cameron. Yep, yeah, I told you guys this was a tough one.
Burn Eagle turns left a lot in the middle of this putt. I underswung it a tiny bit. That might be okay, though. Oh! Yeah, that's good. Putt. Kick in birdie. We'll take it. Hammer and champ. Good chip. Five foot for birdie. Why not? We head to the 17th at five under par. Tied for the lead, I think, guys. Gonna be a Shouldn't fun finish to this round. Miss. Hell of an effort this round. Hell of an effort. No doubt. Cameroon champ gets the birdie. Fair play. He finally gets the two under. He probably was getting frustrated with all the pars on the back nine here, but uh, finally gets his birdie, and we got a birdie alongside him. We'll move back to four, uh, back to five under. Let's go. Oh no, Jonathan Bird retakes the lead again. Six under par. Are they going to give us a little walk here? Like they do with the stadium course at TPC Scottsdale? No. Maybe I skipped the back. So there could have been one. Cameron Champs up first. He is going center cut. Good shot. Okay. Okay. Mission. Oh, I think this could be so good. A little high pitch and wedge here. High draw pitch and wedge. Oh, this could be ideal. I got a good feeling about this one, my friends. Not with that. Oh, no. Oh, this one is lost to the right. Oh, I think this could be so good. I got a good feeling about this one, my friends. By the fast 2.7% kill that one. I think that would have been really good. Distance wise. I don't think like I made a bad decision. It was just a bad, bad stroke. Bad shot. Again. Jesus Christ. Calm down. Thank God that was so underswinging. They could have had a chance to go water again. Jesus okay, Christ. All right. This is the putt. Slightly up the hill. And dead straight. Cameron Champ. Good putt. All right. For a bogey save, is it? Yeah, for a bogey. Come on, this would be a huge bogey to make. Completed my hole in one challenge on this on this course yesterday. Yes, big save. Yeah, that's well done. It's a bogey that's today. Bogey here at the Couple of bogeys three. and four holes, unfortunately. Silly ones as well, avoidable ones. But it's bound to happen on this course. You can't really go around this this course without any mistakes. Look at the crowd. Wow, that's a big crowd right there. No problems there. All right. I love 18 on this course as well, actually. I'll never forget Ricky walking through the tunnel. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Stuart Sink joins T2. Oh, that's water. Oh, this is right up that left side. Gonna need to get lucky. Not. It's good. It's good now. No problems there. Good shot, Cameron. He's left himself a tasty shot in, though. 193. I'm gonna get a little more aggressive than that because wind is wind is off the off the left. So let's let's get a little a little silly aggressive here and uh, please. Uh oh, that looks late bound. It's not even fucking close. How? Another one. Into the the wind was completely eight. nine miles and it's just not affected at all, dude. Oh, point of entry, shit. Might as well take okay, point of entry. So the I guess. Taken, fucking hell, man. That will set up what's gonna be his third. Oh, this line is dog dick too. I'm just falling apart here. I'm falling apart. That's just bad course management, honestly. It was stupid. But I thought with that wind, I'd just be okay. I think the slow made that go way left. And put two balls in the water on 17 and 18. Playing ourselves out of contention here, to be quite perfectly honest. We need to right, get up and down for a bogey. Focus and positive imagery, isn't it here? In no, it's not. It's all about not putting in the water. You have to be precise with your target here. You can't be looking left at the water or mounds on the right. Plus, there's all the mounding on the screen. So, okay. in the end, sit down, look sit, at down, the flag, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. See, that's what I was thinking the tee shot would do. That's what I was thinking the tee shot would do. But it didn't. The tee shot went fucking too bad, Frank, stayed I'm left on right me, man. Cameron Chan. Second from behind the green. Gonna finish this round better than me, potentially. Oh man, we had such a good round by the balls right there, and we just could not finish it out. We need to avoid a double bogey now, man. If we could chip that in for a bogey to finish three under, that'd be real good. Oh my god, Cameron. Good effort. Yeah, good effort. Nice it god, I'm such a silly munter, guys. Alright, come on now, chip this in. Don't be stupid. With this beautiful view, just chip it in. Fuck! Not even a guaranteed double. Please. Just please don't miss this. Yes! Okay. Two under round, head. but As Jesus Christ. What off. a horrendous finish. It's a level par back nine. Two under. Uh, after being five under at one point on the back nine, you know? 
Three under for the back nine itself. Five under for the round. All right, Gammer. No need to one-up me there. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's back to doing this silly shit again. I thought the update had kind of fixed it, but... Okay, that kind of proves that it has not, unfortunately. The level part back nine for Cameron. It's a one under round for Cameron. Two under 70. It should have been at least. We should have been at least on this first page of the leaderboard. Jonathan Bird, Tommy Fleetwood at the top of the board. And that's a disappointment. It really is a disappointment. Two under isn't bad altogether, but just the fact that we were doing so much better than that is what's the disappointing part. You know, it really is the disappointing part. Okay, well, ain't no problem. Callaway Chrome Soft Truvis Orange Slash White. Ricky Fowler style. Well, it's kind of Ricky Fowler style anyway. I know he uses the TPA 5Xs, but still kind of looks like that. All right, let's try some of these. Let's try some of these Callaway ones. Why not? I do want that golf ball. Land four balls on the green. Land six balls on the green. Land all ten balls on the green. Not a good versus bad lie. Sometimes it's the lesser of two evils. See how you play from around the green in either a bunker or the rough around it. All right, sounds good. Land four balls on the green. Land six balls. Land all ten. Yeah, I mean, that's easy. Come on. I don't even need to hold them or anything. Might as well, though. Stop. Imagine the first one just go, trickles off the green. <laughs> All right, last one. Just need to put it on the green, and then we are donezo. There you go. Beautiful. Easy. That was a very easy three stars, I must say. Easier than I expected. So we only need two more stars to get the, the five one. Answer to answer. Abraham Answer has challenged you to play the par fives at the Riviera Club. Rogue play. Okay, so we just play the par fives. Take on the three hardest holes at the Riviera Club. Go bogey free. Get all three GRs. Get two birdies or better. And what's this one? Bunker surround every side of this green. Jump into each and attack the pin. Land all 15 shots in the green. Hit six shots within five foot. Hit three shots within two foot. That's difficult. Let's do the top three hardest holes at Riviera. All right, so this one's par four, is it? It's a long ass par. Tell me this is a par five for the love of God. It'll be a ridiculously hard par four. I think it is a par four. Power drive helps though. 521 yard par four. Jesus Christ almighty into the wind. Good putt though. Good save. Good save for the par. Okay. We're A-OK. -okay. Everybody calm down, all right? Okay, 287 with the driver here. Played off the left of that bunker. Bogey freeze easy. Well, it's not easy, but I feel like we definitely should get that one if we play well. Um, but we need a birdie of these next two as well, which is the hard part. That's going to be very hard to do. Might not go bogey free here either. If I miss this, I'm just logging off. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like, and uh, I'll see you guys for the next PGA Tour. Nope. EA Sports PGA Tour video real soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out.